<laughs> what are you saying? Damn, this lion is looking pretty sexy, right? Am I right? Am I right? That's looking good. Okay, um, maybe you've just got a new camera. Maybe you've had a camera for a while and you've just picked it up and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be good with this thing. I wanna get some banging, nice, crispy, mm, mm. We're gonna go through the three sort of camera basic settings today. Shutter speed, aperture, ISO. So we'll start with shutter speed. This is how fast the shutters inside your camera close when you take a picture. Let's say, for example, you're taking a picture of a waterfall. Now, when I take a picture of a waterfall, my shutter speed is normally around two seconds. And that's because I like to see a little bit of the flow of the water within the picture. So if you sh shet, if you shet, if you set your shutter speed to two seconds, the picture of the waterfall will show two seconds of water flow because it takes the shutter to two seconds to close, let all that light in. In that time, the water's traveled for two seconds. But Connor, I don't want to take a picture of a waterfall. I want to take a picture of a cheetah who's running through a field and he's about to pounce on a gazelle and just rip that sh to shreds, right? Well, in that case, two seconds or anything longer than one second isn't going to cut it because taking a picture for two seconds while the cheetah's running, you aren't going to see the cheetah because it is gone. So then you have to make your shutter speed way shorter than a second, right? So play around with it. Maybe set your camera to something like one thousandth of a second. Just keep in mind though that the longer your shutter takes to close, the more light it lets in. Therefore, the brighter your image will be. And the quicker it closes, the less light it brings in, so the darker your image is gonna be. Aperture is how open or closed the blades are when you take the picture. And this affects how blurry, how much depth you have in your image. Right now when you're watching this, my background is really blurred. I have this on an aperture of f2.8, which means there's a very shallow depth of field. So it's focused on me and it blurs the background. Think about it like a pane of glass. So if where my face was, there was a pane of glass, everything on that plane would be in focus. And the higher the f number, the thicker that glass is, the thicker the area of focus. Think about it, that was good. I just came up with that on the spot. That was pretty solid. That was a pretty good way of thinking about it. High five, Connor. Mm. Well, why would I ever use F.7? What if you want to take pictures of landscapes? What if you're out between some mountains and you want everything to be in focus? Then you use F.8 or F.11. Play around with your camera and see how far each f-stop focuses if you have time if you have time i'd recommend it again i'd recommend it just play around with your camera i'm going to be completely honest when i was first using my camera i didn't even know that i could change the aperture i was on manual mode and i was only changing my shutter speed and my iso so when i finally discovered aperture i was like holy f my pictures are so much nicer now iso ISO boosts the signal of light coming through your camera. Always set your shutter speed and your aperture first because bumping your ISO up comes with grain. It makes your picture and video noisy. Maybe that's what you're after, but the general rule to follow is the lower the ISO, the cleaner the image. The higher the ISO, the grainier your image is gonna be. Sometimes that grain looks quite nice. It gives it like a nice grungy feel. So bear that in mind, just knowing what the different settings are gonna do to your image. When I first started, I put my camera on manual mode and I would just change all of these settings until I took a picture that looked good. I didn't know what I was doing at all. I didn't know anything. Now, if I went back and looked at those images, I could be like, oh shit, the ISO is way too high because it's grainy. Or I'm like, why is all of that in focus? Definitely, 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 definitely set your camera to manual mode and just go out and play with it as much as possible. That's how you're really gonna learn. Hopefully you managed to get something out of that because I am pretty poor at explaining things. Um, whoa, Jesus. 
Also, before you go, my mum subscribed to my YouTube channel a couple of weeks ago and she's just moved to the Ascension Island. That's like in the middle of nowhere between Africa and Brazil, just in the ocean, a tiny little island. She's moved out there for two years for work. So everyone comment below just saying hello to my mum because she's on the channel now. Hi mum. Hope you pick up the camera and start doing things. She doesn't even have a camera. Um, you should get a camera mum. No, actually, I've seen your pictures, they're shocking. Don't. Get better with your phone first. She, honestly, my mum sends me pictures, right? And she's like, shaky hands. And I'm like, what, what is that? Right, I'm gonna go, because the bobs are after me. There's actually a guy playing the bagpipes outside while I'm trying to record this video. All right.